Welcome back everybody to another YouTube video and in this one well this is how to take apart your um freebie box so yeah first, first what you want to do is come around well, well first you have to actually turn off your, your freebie box just by clicking the same button and then over here should have a power thing and not over here oh it says like that wife sideway wife i think anyway so then what you want to do is you want to turn the thing around and flick this switch now the entire thing is not on because when you take it apart you'll know how the switch works like nothing is on right now it doesn't even know that there's power into it anyway so Anyway, what you're going to do is turn it off at the wall, unplug it, plug it in here, and then I'll get my tools and I'll be back in a sec. Anyway guys, we're back and I've got my tools, and if, if you're a true viewer, you would know that I use this set a lot. Anyways, moving on, so first what you want to do is, it makes it easier if you just, well it doesn't really affect anything, but I just like to get this out. Don't worry, it doesn't break anything. It's fine. You just want to pull out the glue by accident. And, that, and that's fine. I pulled up the clip. Whoops. Anyways. It'll still go back on. It'll be fine. Anyway, so then what you want to do is you want to head over to each side. Get your screws. And get a pretty big screw. Then I may need a different screwdriver. Never mind it. Just unscrew the side sets. And you should be left with three circuit boards. One on the front, one over here for the power, and one just around this area just for all the controls. So, first what you need, need to do is get... Make sure you don't lose any screws and make sure you sort them good. Some screws may be a bit tighter than others, but... Who knows? So, yeah. Okay, um, we're going to take out everything. So, just each part is separate. And yeah. So once you've taken out these two screws, you flip it around to the back. And you get these black screws on the sides, like this one. Right here. Don't know if you can see me that good, so try to bring it a bit closer. Anyways. So and, and then you get the other one. And there's one at the middle of the top. So this one right here, see this one? Turn this one at the top too. Oops. And then boom, you've got that off. Then what you want to do is you want to really carefully lift up the case at the back, pull it out towards there, and boom, you're left with all the circuit boards. One power and one um, clicky one, and then the brains of the circuit. So you can see here there's the power one, the clicky buttons thing that sends and then the brains of the circuit with all the capacitors and then all the things that you plug into the TV yeah. so this is a power thing so you can have a transformer or two and the I don't have a transformer Can I have two or something cheap oh yeah there it is anyway so in here we also have a fuse so <laughs> you can use it on your like your brain box here if you wanted to and then what you want to do after this, you want to just take your screwdriver, come come up to the top and then see this. Why is this on? Oh, the power cord. Anyways, and then you want to just get this screw up here and this screw up here. I'll see you guys when I've done those two screws. Anyway guys, so now what you want to do is you want to, you want to lift off this case by pulling it forward on an angle like this. So it, falls. So it, so it goes like this, as you can see, it goes forward. You want to just pull it downward. Oh, okay. Pull it downwards. I'm just going. There's these clips which you have to get off. But that's pretty easy once you undo the screw and then basically just have the box. Once you have this box, you have the control circuit where you just click all the buttons like click, clicky, clicky. Yeah. That was it here. Then what you want to do is you want to get your thing. I really need to have a better. Close to the camera, okay. you guys can't really see us this well, but just slurp it around. 
Let me tell you what in there. Now you can see everything clearly, more clear. And then you want to just basically just like get all these screws, like metal things on the outside. So basically, like this. And then you just want to unscrew all of these screws. I'll be back when I've done all of that. Now, once you've done that, you should be just left with a circuit board and an empty thingamajig. But, but if you were to press the buttons, it wouldn't really be that useful. If you know what I mean? Because, <laughs> like, there's these springs and there's nothing. So if you were to press the button, this would just go. <laughs> anyway, so, we'll set that aside. Anyway, so anyway, since you have this free circuit board, down here. Since you have this free circuit board, this is basically the controls. So you just click these buttons like the power button and then the rest, but they are labeled if you guys can see that. See channels, volume, okay, menu, and then the power button. A lot of different things in the circuit. And then there's that light thing that shows you what channel you are on and what time it is when it's off. And then what you want to do is you want to get your screwdriver and you want to and on the circuit board you get on the on the power one see how there's one two wait no let's see this thing else first so, so this may be a hard bit but see this power bit right here and then this switch this is the switch see this this is the circuit of the switch so what you want to do is you want to get these Plastic ones, see, the, see those clear ones, the yellowish ones, if you're dirty. I'm just want to yank them off. Top one and the bottom one. And that means if you ever were to plug this in, it wouldn't, even if you turn the switch on, nothing would happen because you've just connected the power cable off. Then what you want to do is you want to lift this bit right here up, like that. So, so yeah, you basically just have an empty power cable with I've a neutral. <laughs> Anyways, and now so we basically just have an entire brains of the system. And then what you want to do is you want to come over here. See this little switch? Oh, fl flip it around. You want to get the, the switch and you want to pull it that way. So you want to pull it out. So it's pretty simple. You pinch it on the two sides and then you push it. You pinch it, push. Pinch, push. So there's like two little things there. I don't know why I'm doing it backwards is it so you guys can see it because I can barely see anything right now <laughs> giving you guys all the you get that one out and then you get the next one out which will be this one oh you've got it out then on the second board there's this little glow switch which it connects to you just pinch it you just pull the little switch away from it and pull up it clips. One just get out, come on. Yeah, there we go. And you got the little well what you get well not really circuit board, but you then you have the, the power switch out. Basically means that you have that little switch. So you can connect this up to any one of your projects. Just make sure you know which one's just <laughs> top and bottom. Which pretty simple. That one's well that one's that one the you know you can work that out. Anyways, and then so you basically don't have that or that, so there's no power into this thing. And then on the brown circuit board, which means power, not not the one with the with the clicky buttons. Do <coughs> the dog. Sorry about the inconvenience. So you, on the brown circuit board, there's four um what's it called, screws. One here, one here, one here, and one here. So you want to unscrew those. So I'll be back when I've unscrewed those. And once you have got all the screws out, then you should be left. Then you could be able to l just lift the circuit board up, and there you go. You have the brown slash power circuit board. Then on the green circuit board, see that green one right here? Before you take out the four, well, how many screws are there? One. Before you take out the three screws that are holding it down, there, there, and there. You want to take out other stuff, because it's kind of getting a bit, get a bit messy. So, right here, you, you're going to have a whole lot of plugs, like the thing that connects to a projector. Or that's that's the only time I've actually seen these plugs. Then you have L and B in, and loop out. Then you have TV, VCR, video, yeah, basically those cables. Then you have these things that plug into the antenna thing. 
So between the okay, so first right above this black thing, yeah, there should be a screw. All you have to do is undo the screw. Cool. Come on, come on, Dan. One point. I mean, you unscrew that. Get that screw out. Then you, then there's one between these two. These two things. You unscrew. Oh wait. Huh. Sorry, it got tight. Anyways, your screws may be slightly different, tighter, or slightly different, looser than mine is, but. Oh yeah, now these cables are just going to be like wobbly right now, like... Should put on music, shouldn't I? Yep. Anyways, then you should, after you move it on between these four things, over here, there's one at the top right. If you, if you want music in the videos, comment down below because I don't know if you guys want music. I don't know if it's distracting. Because so. I had it in the smashing lock. Don't worry, I'm going to upload up, part up, two. I just have to edit out a bit. Well, comment down below if you want part two. I don't know if actually, I've actually uploaded it yet. And once you've got all those grey screws, see, once you've got that one and that one, and these all should be able to be moved besides this one. And then, but then, so next, what you want to do is you can push all of these out, but you shouldn't because you might snap something. So under here, see these? You're going to need a ratchet on those things that go. So first, what you want to do is you want to get, see these? Support, I don't know if it's, yeah. There's like nuts on the, on the two sides. You should unscrew those nuts. Once you've done that, take it out and put it there. Well, put it somewhere. I need to buy this camera a bit. Anyways. So I'll be back when I got that thing we undo box. Welcome back! I actually added to music. You can actually hear it, but anyway, so we're moving on. Turn it up. Yeah, yes, okay. Anyway, so now what you want to do after you got after so this is basically out now. Um, so over here we're gonna need a ratchet. One of these. So make it bigger. Oh, sorry. wrong way. Wait. Wrong side. So used to the other thing. Anyways. Screw it up. So it goes around the thing. This is this video is just for if you want to like legit take your thing apart. But I find it easier if you just like you just keep turning it. But right, so that was that one done. So now you want to do the other one, this one. Oh, if you did this one, then you do the other one. But this one will take a second. Don't just. Your know, thing should be loose enough to pull off. Mine aren't, because I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm just joking. But Am I? Yeah. Anyway. Yes, I got it. Okay. Do that, and you can unscrew these bolts. Okay, so push it down so you can see it better. I wonder if I'm actually going to the correct way. Oh no, I forgot to hit the button. No, I'll just leave the camera up. Let's see. Unscrew. 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 
Yeah, that was actually pretty quick. That was, I think that was quicker than the other one, probably because I already undid it quite a bit. Put those down. And boom. Then now what you want to do is the interesting bit, because event after these three screws, you're going to shoot an empty left with an empty clip case. <laughs> so you remove this, because every time I turn it on, it's just rattling around. Get rid of that. Well, it's just a washer. So now what you want to do is you want to, see, on the green circuit board, you just screw around here by the heat sink and that other thing. That three pin thing. I can't what it's called. As you just want to remove this screw. Mm. I'll be back when I remove all three screws. There's one here, one here, and one here. Be back soon. Anyway, guys, so I've got that out. So you should just be able to push and lift out this. Oh yeah, by the way, when you're unscrewing <laughs> these two ports, there's going to be two washers too. Don't forget those. Let's see if there's another one. So now since we've got all the circuit boards, we can legit just take all this out. I, I got my computer! <laughs> I got my phone box! <laughs> you can make this so much more compact though. You can just like, put this here. Wait, 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 wait. Put this here. And put this like right on top. Well, you could like you could like legit just like put this on top. Make sure there's no shorts. And then put this on top. And then just put this on the front. It's like so much. And then you just move this bit. Bring the smallest freebie box ever. Like bruh. Oh, but there wouldn't be a switch. I need to get a switch on the side. Oh. I feel like you, someone, someone in the comments could be like, "We messed up, so messed up." I'm just gonna be like, "Yeah, I wasn't meaning on someone to actually make a small one. If you did make a small, I, I bet this probably would be a small one because I've had. I used to use this frame box, now I don't. So. I suppose I took it apart to see how it works. Well, I already knew how it works, but I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh yeah, and by this three kind of by the heatsink. See this heatsink over here? There's yeah, like a. I can't, I still can't remember that name. I'm just going to screw at the top. You still won't be able to pull it out, but, yeah. Because those things can draw a lot of heat. Do percent pull it out. Don't think many things would work. I just, I just feel like, what happens if I just, what the, did that camera just like, or that just me? Anyways. So basically now you can just wiggle it back and forth. You have a transformer and then you have all of other stuff like this. Look at this big ginormous capacitor which is 450 volts. Wait, let me check. Let's see how much voltage it has. Oh yeah, 450 volts. I don't think I keep more than 450. I don't think I keep more than 100 volts. Because I always plug into the wall. But that's only 240 volts or is it 220 volts? 420. Was it for four? I don't know how much voltage I have. I know that in other countries it's only half as much. Like, hmm, yes. Yeah. Anyways, did I have four 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 hundred like twenty four hundred and twenty volts? I could legit almost pop this capacitor. Actually, an extra twenty volts. Give me the batteries. Yeah. Anyway, so this is going to be the end of the video. But I'm just gonna. Yeah, I can't time lapse, I forgot. I'm gonna have a part two of me putting this back together. If anyone wants to know how to put something back together. If you just if someone just gives you all of this just like here, a whole lot of screws, some screwdriver you know that you can get this. But she, they just give you this stuff. And then this and then all the screws and stuff and you're just like what the how do I put this all together? You should watch this video in the more videos and you're just like, oh, yeah. I don't need that. Well, that's pretty warm. I think it's crusted. So right now, you could take off the feet. It's basically an empty case. And as you take off out the feet, then it's actually an empty case.
I mean, yeah. It's pretty, pretty boring case. You could smash it. Pfft. Yeah, because I'm going to actually put this back together in a different video. <laughs> you just imagine someone needs to add you this, all these circuit boards, screws, and, you're, and then the cord, and you're just like, what? It doesn't have anything of what it is. Just like, the VCR TV. What? <laughs> Yeah, that'd be funny. It's like, how does any of this go? You see all those screw holes on the bottom? So I'm guessing that this one goes... No, that's... that's I don't know if there's buttons on this. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of resistance. Anyways, I'll end the video. Smash it like button, smash it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!